Hi guys, 51 Foxy. Just doing an unboxing. Uh, this is from one of my subscribers, uh, Camping LNT. Uh, I suggested on my last video that I'm going to go for a walk. Uh, uh, you'll look a bit of light backpacking. Not going to go very far, it's only about two and a half miles, I think it is, but I'm just going to cut down on my stuff and stop out overnight and take you with me, like. So he says, I'd like to send you this, which is very, very kind of me. Thank you very much. I'll uh, open it now. No. No, it says guys. Hi Paul, many thanks mate for your vids. Although we have been camping for many years, discovering your YouTube channel and review of the Hornet Hammock has started us off on a totally new way of camping. Don't underestimate the little stove I have sent. Uh, it has been well tested and is ideal for you if you don't if you want if you don't want to light a fire. Your crusader should fit on it, but I have not tried one yet. About 15 to 20 mils of mess is plenty to make a 250 mil brew in no wind. Just wait a few seconds for it to bloom uh, and put your billet or any pot directly on the top. If it's windy, I put the, put the stove in the bottom piece of my wild stove. You may like to take it for a trip on your backpacking light expedition. Uh, anyway mate, have a bit of fun with it. All the best, Tony. Well thank you very much Tony, it's very kind of you. I have a bushcraft challenge for a couple of my mates at his lighter stove without the use of matches, flint, lighter, fire steel, etc. Oh dear, I'll have a look at that later. <laughs> that could be a bit hard for me now, because I'm usually a match person, blind or whatever. <laughs> but we'll have a go, anyhow. Right, let's have a look what we've got. Tub and all that, great, that's smashing. Oh, very good, that's smashing. That is light and all, isn't it? Yeah, a, bit of, a bit of char clapping in the old guys and a bit of flint, a bit of lint to me. That's spot on, that. Very good. You've got all the clothes right outside for it to bloom right outside instead of bloom, just these others usually bloom at top. So you can put your pot on it and it'll bloom at size. Basically the same thing where uh, what they call them now, uh, is it white box? I think it white box store works, basically the same type of thing. So we shall uh, I'll take that out and give it a try. We're going out tomorrow, me and Barking Badger. So I'll take this with me and give it a try. So that's very kind of you anyhow. That's the first time ever I don't sent me that. What time have you done YouTube? So you're the first, Tony. Uh, uh, very good. Look at this little thing, what you said now, what to do. I have a bushcraft challenge going for a couple of my mates, that is, is to light the stove without the use of matches, flint, lighter or fire steel. You will simply use the, the highly polished underside in full sun and direct it onto the char cloth and lint. That will give you a flame. It takes a bit of practice it may be fun to see if one of your mates uh, have a go at it at Camp Mazza. It will work. See if it will work. Good luck finding a sunny day though. LOL. That's very kind of you, Tony. That's great, that is. So basically what you're saying then, it's sunny today and it's red hot, but it's a little bit of a cloud, so I don't think it's going to work. Trust me. So that the sun's going in. That's my luck, guys, honestly. That's my luck. Great. So basically what you're saying is that shiny. I'm gonna have to fathom this out. Obviously that shiny bit. I don't know. 
anyhow, someone's got in, so that's about right for me there. So, anyhow, thanks very much, Tony. That's very really kind of you. And that's Camping LNT. Check his channel out, guys. That's smashing, and it comes in all little tub and all, like, and there's a wash brown there, so we don't want that to have. That's brilliant, Tony. Thank you very much. We're going out tomorrow, like I said. Me and Barking Badger's going out tomorrow. It's coming over tomorrow, so we'll uh, have another nighter. And uh, we have a good time anyhow. We always have a good time. And then next week, uh, he's uh, PM me, Flea Bay. Lee, about uh, a cool with me on this overnighter. So he can come to my house, and it's only about two and a half miles, from me, like I said before. But it could be a uh, somewhat different, different place to go. It's some private woodland that I've got permission in, so we'll be all right. Take my little sword and my jack law with me, and uh, backpack light. This will be hard for me. This will be. I've said I've done it loads of times, but I like to go with my comfort, my table, and everything. My chair. I'm taking me. I'm going to take my hammock chair with me and try my hammock chair. That was everywhere I go. Like it's a brilliant piece of kit. If you want to check the hammock chairs out, guys, it's uh, Matt. Uh, UKHammocks.co.uk uh, I think it is or gold will come up and I think they call it silver fox chair but I had mine made like uh, better and stronger like than what others are I've had a double layer on mine and I'm still put on mine instead of 550 paracord but for £12.50 I think they were absolutely best bit of kit totally brilliant yeah dogs are going to start fighting now because one's got a bone other one hand so. anyhow guys I'll see you later. We'll see you'll uh, catch you tomorrow when we're out. Cheers now.